Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the meeting of the second session of the seventh convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. We are strongly connected to our land. Large-scale housing construction is underway in Artsakh. The enemy is implementing a terrible war, calling it a peace agenda. Varujan Gheramian, treasures of Artsakh, Varazgon Church, the massacre of a college in the region is another form of war. Our Standing children of Western Armenia, Dadian family. The 800th anniversary of the founding of Horanashat Monastery Complex was celebrated with the Holy Liturgy. A traditional Vartaton dedicated to Sayat Nova was celebrated in Tbilisi. At a second session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia of the 7th Convocation, Speaker of the Parliament Nelly Harutunyan made the introduction of speech, confirming the list of present and absent deputies. 30 deputies were present at the meeting and 19 were absent. During the meeting, the candidacy of a new deputy was presented, which was approved anonymously. The parliamentary commissions of the National Assembly, in particular the chairman of the commission, presented a report on a current period, followed by the report of chairman of National National Assembly Nerihar Utunyan issued related to possible new changes in the internal regulations and works to be carried out this year were also discussed. During the second session, the President of Western Armenia, Armena Gabramian, Prime Minister Seda Melikian and members of ministries made speeches, presenting the work done by the ministers and the government. During the sitting, a number of proposals were made on constitutional changes and other issues. In order to solve the housing problem of families displayed as a result of 44-day war, new neighborhoods are being built in different districts of Artsakh. As President of Republic of Artsakh, Arai Karutunyan stated recently, the construction of 3,000 apartments and mansions has already begun, and the general program provides for the construction of 7,000 houses and does everything so that every family living in Artsakh has its own home. According to the Deputy Minister of Urban Development of Republic of Artsakh, Aram Gasparian, New quarters are currently being built in Ivanyan, Hofse Pavan, Astrashen, Noragyu, Khanatzakh, Aigestan, Dahraf, Karmishuka, Martuni, some of which will be commissioned at the end of 2022 and the rest in 2023. Housing construction programs are implemented at expense of the state budget of Artsakh, the Hayastan Pan Armenian Foundation, charitable organizations, and private companies. Azerbaijan is conquering this unique region with silent and small steps, actually taking all new territories under the control of its armed forces. Candidate of Historical Sciences, Turkeologist Varujan Gheramian wrote about this on his Telegram channel. He in particular noted, at the same time he is carrying out the falsification there, creating a basis for successive attacks. Azerbaijani President Ilyam Aliyev and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan openly talk about the claims of the sovereign territory of the Republic of Armenia on almost daily, pursuing the actual goal of eliminating Armenian statehood. In response to these military actions, the de facto authorities of Republic of Armenia turn to the non-existent side of international community, so that the latter gives an assessment of Azerbaijan's hostile actions and once again talks about the nonsense of mere withdrawal of troops, because of which we have already lost new settlements after November 2020. Varazgom Church is located in the Kashatar district of the Republic of Artsakh, between the villages of Merik and Rushchi to the left of Aravnaget. The church is in bad condition but still standing. Varazgom Church is in two stage, cross shaped and with a unique composition, an extremely remarkable and valuable church. The first description of the Varazgom Church was given in 1982. It is known that a cross dome composition was quite popular in Armenian architecture, especially in the early Middle Ages. This unique Varazgom Church is built in consecrated stones. Extremely, it bears traces of repair from the 16th and 17th century. The church was not damaged during the two Artsakh wars. However, after the 44-day war in 2020, the church commanded the control of Azerbaijan. The organization Ecological Movement of Mesopotamia has issued a written statement regarding the deforestation and plundering of nature on a territory of Western Armenia. The statement stressed that the policy of attracting profits to nature will have serious consequences for the entire planet. The statement, which draw attention to the destruction of forests and forest fires in the region, knows that the wars are also the cause of destruction of ecology and threatens wildlife. In addition, deforestation under the name of security and the 
construction of police stations and border police stations in their place can be considered a concrete act of social pressure in the region. Western Armenia, while agreeing with the statement of aforementioned organization, once again expresses its sharp criticism of an encroachment of nature and ecology in its territories. The Dadian family is one of the Armenian families that had invested in various fields. An Armenian named Petros Bey from the village of Yerzanka in Western Armenia emigrated to Kazdan Mall in 1650 and engaged in the jeweler business. Ottoman Sultan Selim III named his uncle Dad Arkel Arakel Amira, the chief gunsmith, and a family named him Dadian, after the different family members held different positions. By order of Mahmoud III, the family was exempted from the types of taxes. The Sultan gives the family huge plots of land on which Hovanes Bay is building a gunpowder factory, several churches and a school. Dadian Armenia School in Kastadnapol and St. Astvazatin Church is among them. Among the famous family members of Artin Dadian Pasha, Artin Pasha held important position in a field of diplomacy, worked in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and represents the Empire in Europe. He died in 1901, part of Great Dadian family now lives in Europe and America. In connection with the 800th anniversary of the founding of the Khoran Ashat Monastery Complex, a sacred liturgy was served after the five-year break. About five years ago, for the first time after the century-long break, the holy liturgy was served in Khoran Ashat. On May 28th, it sounded again. The occasion is the 800th anniversary of the foundation. Bishop Bagrat Kalistan celebrated the holy liturgy in Khoran Ashat, a few dozen meters from Azerbaijan positions. The message reads, the liturgy was Followed by the understand ceremony, it is noted that the Gospel of Khoran Ashad was brought to Chinari from Martin Adara, named after Mestre of Mashtod, specifically for performing this ritual. Vartaton is celebrated in Tbilisi on May 29th. Every year, the last Sunday of May, in Tbilisi is celebrated as a day of memory of Sayat Nova. The Armenians of Georgia, according to the order established more than a century ago, marched down from Hovanes to Manyan's house to the Ashok Memorial, then moved to the Cathedral Church of St. Georg and paid tribute to the memory of Great Ashok. Vartaton was first celebrated in 1918 in the initiative of Hovanes to Manyan and artist Georg Bashinjanyan. Then it become traditional. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.